Hey everyone, how are you? Hope you had a good weekend, and um, I did. I worked on some of the alley over the weekend. Uh, most of the family was out of the house, and I had a uh, Sunday afternoon just to kick back, watch a Packers game, and do some modeling. So that's what I did. Um, there's still construction going on outside, so my apologies if you hear, like, beeping or pounding or <laughs> whatever it is they're doing out there I have no idea but let me I'm gonna hit uh, oh let me turn on the uh, screen display here uh, I'm gonna hit shift F and tab whoa no let me try that again shift F tab nope that didn't work sometimes I gotta get right close to it there we go now I can move around here um, so what I did is I created, or I kind of worked on this building here. It's got, uh, it'll, it'll have brick up top and concrete down below, a wood door and bricked over windows, and a couple of these uh, f uh, fixtures up here to cast l light down onto the, um, onto the alley. Uh, I've got this one here that has a... Um, uh, a box of some sort, uh, <laughs> power box, utility box. It's got wood doors and windows here. Um, and then this is the one we worked on earlier. I went ahead and opened the trunk to the car right here. Um, and I worked on telephone wires and power lines and things like that up there. You can see the um, uh, power lines up there. So I worked on those. Um, and I also worked on this building here. It's like more of a modern type building. It'll just be mainly uh, concrete and then it has these um, air vents over here. So, um, and this building here is just um, a duplicate of the one all the way down there. And I just duplicated it, spun it around, and put it down here because I was lazy. Because <laughs> I can do that. Um, so the, the modeling we can call pretty much done. I mean, I may add other things in here as I transfer it into Unity, but I think what I'd like to do is begin on UV mapping. So let's... Um, Try and think about what would be easy. I tend to like to UV, or when I, whenever I begin a new part of the project, I like to begin easy and work my way into the hard. Um, so this one here, let me zoom in down here. This one looks pretty easy that I could kind of ease my way into UV again. Um, let's try this. So here it's on layer three. And um, let's try UV mapping this thing. Um, I know there's going to be brick on this, on all the walls here. There's also going to be brick inside the windows too. And I think I'd like to go ahead and split these out. So I'm just going to use the C key and click on each one of these and select all of those in there. Uh, P and uh, separate by selection. So we got those. Now let me, okay. And then these here, I believe, have already been split out. Yes. All right. So we've got the windows here and here. Um, the roof is going to be its own thing. So I will just tab into edit mode and alt click the edges all the way around here. And I'll just mark seams right here. Control E, mark seam. Um, and I think I better mark a seam down here as well, all the way around, because this piece I think is going to be like uh, concrete. Whereas this is going to be brick. I'll do that. Um, 
And then I guess I can just select this edge here and this edge and split those out. Mark scene there. Okay. And um, well, let's see how that works. I'm going to go to my UV editing screen layout, center it up here, and uh, tab into edit mode. And let's just, oh, let me hit uh, control A and scale. And let's just uh, try this. Oh, oh, this, and this. All right. So we've got some issues, don't we? And maybe that's because I haven't triangulated these down here. You know, we've got this multi... Oh, and we've also got the interior of these, don't we? Mmm. So... All right. Here, let me... Um, that's a little ugly. <laughs> uh, well, what I'll do is maybe split these out. Let me try this. Let me uh, go to edge mode and grab these edges and mark a seam like this. Let me try that. And uh, this here, like so. Okay, let's break those out. Let's see what we can do with that. You unwrap. Still not really very good, is it? Hmm. You know, I could go through all the process of you know what I'm going to do? Okay, I'm going to take away these edges or these seams here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cheat. Yes, that's right. I'm going to hit the L key and select this with the seams. Uh, so it's being s split up. It's being uh, uh, bounded by the seams, right? I'm going to go to an orthographic view like this. So I'm l looking at it straight down the um, x-axis. And I'm going to hit U, and I'm going to project from view. Look at that. Got to love the cheating. So now what is all this? Where is all this coming from? Let me see. Shift H. It looks like it's just because there's so much gunk there. You know? There's just so much gunk there. And that's just um, because the way I did that. You know? So let's try something like this. Let's try this. See what happens with this. Control T. Yeah. That looks, that's, I mean, that's what Unity is going to do to it anyway, you know. Um, all right, so now what if we did our U and unwrap here? Yeah, see, I don't like that. Okay. Um, well, actually, let me try try that again. You unwrap and let me try conformal. A little bit better. A little bit better. Although this I think I still want to... Um, so this I think, for first of all, what I'm going to do is just split this out. I don't need to keep that together. And I don't need to keep this together down here, so let me try this. Ah, uh, UV, UV mapping. 
the joys. All right. I mean, I could just <laughs> hit smart UV project and be done with it, I suppose. But uh, let me do this. Let me try it here. Uh, that's angle based. Okay. I don't like all this. I'll have to do this over here because because this is the way I did it. And now I'm paying for it. I'm paying dearly for this. That's what UV is. It's just retribution for your sins. <laughs> All right, so that's better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this front again, like this, project it down the front view. You project from view, and there we go. So now we have... Let me do this now. Okay. So now I can take this and move it. There we go. That looks pretty good. And uh, what are all these? I don't like these. Dang it. What are these? Oh. Oh, those are those. Okay. That makes sense. That makes some modicum of sense, I suppose because those are just flat you know that's just it's because I projected it down the x-axis it's just seeing that as a f flat line all right well so there <laughs> I can maybe break these out like this See what happens if I hit U and unwrap that. Yeah, there's that. Okay. And then let me do this. This one. And this one. Oops. Mark seam. So it's kind of kind of crazy here. There we go. And mark all those. Then we U and unwrap, and that goes over there. Okay. And then, um, dang it, these things here. Because I'm pro projecting from view. All right, so what if I just mark these here? Smart UV project is looking better and better to me. It really is. Because I'm going to be taking these into Substance Painter. So it makes you wonder why am I working this hard. But let's just finish it up here. Just have this to do. Here. Oh. There we go. Mark seam. Select all this. U and unwrap. Okay, so we got all of that. Um, let me make sure we've got all of that. So if I select everything here, do I have everything selected over here? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, um, now that I've got everything here, what I can do is select everything. Let me tab out of there. Select everything over here. And uh, press Control A. And Control P. Oop. <laughs> Not Control O, Control P. Now, what the. All right, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Where is that? That's that? Really? How did that get so incredibly huge? 
you unwrap. Did I not? Huh. All right, control A. Yeah, control P. Man, it's way off. Okay. <sighs> well, now you're seeing me struggle. So, all right. Control E, clear seam. U, smart UV, project. Okay. <laughs> Why the hell didn't I do that in the first place? <laughs> all right. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm done. Great. That was really... <laughs> that was dumb. Okay. Well, there you are. That one's done. You know what? I got an idea. Why don't I try Smart UV Project first next time? <laughs> all right. Oh, let's um, also... I want to get all of these guys, so... Uh, there's all of this stuff here. Um, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and combine all of those and then do the same thing. There we go. Um, that doesn't look right, though, does it? I don't think all of these have been scaled properly. Try that again. That's better. Yeah, so that's the problem that you can have if you uh, uh, don't apply your scale. So I'm going to tab into these. Oh, let me combine all these with Control J. Tab in. Uh, you smart UV project. Let's try that. And these two, I need to scale those because those are, see how stretched they are? Let's try that again. There we go. That's better. All right. So now that I've... <laughs> uh, let me select everything. Control J. Get that there. I'm going to put the um, cursor down here in between these two. Cursor to selected. And then move the origin to the 3D cursor. So we've got the origin of the building down here on the bottom in the middle I'm gonna grab everything is that all yeah so now I can take all of this and I should be able to now uh, control a and control P pack everything in although that's not brilliant because of this thing this thing's really kind of taken up a lot of room here. Let me take a look at this. We could probably do better with that. So this is let me this is this up here. And this? No. This. Hmm. What is this? Oh, it's that piece there. So if I split all of these, yeah, I think that would lay in there a little better. So this and this and this. Mark seam there. Uh, let me select all of these. And now let's you and unwrap like that. All right. Now let's select everything. Control A, Control P. And that packs it in a little bit better. Yeah. All right. Well, that was painful, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, so how is everybody doing? Oh, greetings from Paris. 
Ah, uh, um, um, is the n-gon a problem in the window? Um, not really. I mean, ultimately, the 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 biggest problem I had was because uh, was with the UV was with the UV mapping because of the very odd um, geometry here. Um, you know, when we take it into Unity, it's going to triangulate it anyway. And if you really don't care how it's going to triangulate, then an ingon isn't going to kill you. I know this is heresy. I know I'm 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 speaking against everything that everyone says here. But ultimately, Unity is going to triangulate it. So if you aren't going to be animating it like a like a a, a, a character. Um, then it really is isn't a terrible thing. Do you know what I mean? Um, when with a w with a character, you want good edges on the elbows and the knees, um, and you so you want to uh, make sure those are all quads. And usually, for an in, an entire you know character, you want all quads. But ultimately, it shouldn't be too mm, too much of an issue. Um, so what I'm going to do now with this, instead of going on in UV mapping more, I'm going to actually try and split this up using uh, vertex colors. And so that I can um, create different materials in Substance Painter. So I need to figure out what those uh, materials are going to be or which parts are going to be what material, right? Um, so I think what I'll do is, first of all, this part right here um, is going to be brick, except for, I'll hit the C key and middle, middle mouse and deselect all of these up here as well. that and this and this okay so just this is going to be a certain kind of brick right so let's now with that s selected I'm going to switch over to a uh, uh, texture paint and then I'm going to look at this and wonder what is going on um, Hmm. Oh, I had it. Okay. So now, I guess I need to add a paint slot. It's usually taken care of for me here when I open this up, but... Oh, um, uh, a material. I need a material on it. That's right. Sorry about that. Let me put a material on it. New... What is this? Building, we'll just call this Building A. Don't know <laughs> what else to call it at this point in time. That is Building A. Now, switch over to my texture paint. Now, uh, we should be able to add a paint slot. Right? Okay. Oh, I'm doing texture paint. No. Darren, okay, here we go. It's a Monday. Vertex paint. There we go. I don't. That's why I wasn't seeing this. I was being confused because I I wasn't seeing this. You know what I mean? So that's my confusion. Sorry about that. Let's go back to edit mode, and now I'm going to select all this again. Yay. Try this again. And uh, get rid of this stuff, get rid of this, like so. And oh, I should do this, like that, and there we go. Okay. Wait a minute, is there anything? Yeah, I wanted to get up underneath here. Uh, underneath here like that 
Now, okay, now I'll go to Vertex Paint instead of Texture Paint. And for this, it's already selected there, great. Uh, we can, well, here's my, here's some, some colors I could use here. How about a green? Why not? And Shift K there. Yes, okay. Now, let's see what else we can do. I'm going to go back to edit mode and this roof is just going to be like an asphalt or pebble kind of roof, tar paper or something. Ultimately, I could put like air conditioners up here, but I, I don't think I need to. I don't think I'm going to need to do that. Um, so back to Vertex Paint and let's go with uh, blue. Shift K. All right. Um, back to edit mode. Um, let's try this. Control plus to expand the selection there. And uh, here. And also here. Okay, so we got that. Uh, back to vertex, we'll make that red, shift K, and that up here is going to be the same material as this down here, these pieces here, these things, right? It's going to be that kind of plain uh, concrete. So back to vertex, shift K, there we go then the windows are all going to be bricked over as well. So um, it's going to be a, a similar brick, but not quite the, the same thing because it would have been bricked over at a different time, right? So let's see. Here's this, 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 and this. Okay, and now this is going to be eh, texture uh, vertex paint. How about um, yellow? Let's make that yellow. Shift K. Okay, I think that's everything we need, right? Roof, concrete, bricks, and other bricks. Yeah? What do you think? Let's try it. Now, I am uh, uh, willing to try this in Substance Painter, but I'm, as I've said before, I am certainly not an expert at it. I'm still working my way through it, but let's go ahead and give it a try. <coughs> All right, so I've got it open. That's good. With this selected, I want to export it. Uh, let's give it a name. I'll call it building A as well here. Oops. Let's call it building A. Um, let's, instead of cube 35, let's call it building A. Okay. So we're going to, let's give this a try. I'm going to go to File, Export, FBX, choose, you can't really see it down here, can you? Here you go. I'm going to choose uh, Selected Objects, and I'm going to put it in, where am I going to put it? How about in my Exports folder? We'll call this Building A. There we go. All right, let's give it a try. Export. Now, Substance Painter. Uh, file new. <laughs> and let's find that. Uh, exports. Building A. Here we go. Um, and I don't have any maps to bring in with it, so that's fine. 
So here it is. Okay. It's kind of spinning strangely. Feels strange in the viewport here. All right. Well, let's let's give this a a try here. All right. So I'm going to need to bake textures, aren't I? But I don't think I want a normal map because there isn't much here. There's not a lot of um, uh, normal texture going on. So let's see. If I bake the textures and I turn off normal map, right? Let's go ahead and put this to 2048 for now and we can always reduce the size later. All right, let's try it. Let's bake it. See how this goes. Is there a hotkey to swap to Vertex Paint? No, it's just the uh, uh, tab key. The, the tab key switches between what the uh, view or mode that you're in and the view or mode that you were previously in. So usually it's just object mode and 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 edit, right? Because those are the two you use the most. But once you switch to another one, then it'll just tab between those two. All right. So here we go. <laughs> you can tell I'm kind of <laughs> hurting here in Substance Painter. All right, let's see. I've got some brick in here. What about this one? Well, I, I, where's that? There's like a beige one in here somewhere. I brought some in. There we go. Let's try that. All right, I'm going to drag that in. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's not quite what I want. Okay, how about this one? Let's try this one. Drop that in here. And let's get rid of that. So, oh, oh, well, it's not, it's okay. I see. It's because of the windows. Okay, I was seeing the re redirection here as a bad thing, uh, but it's actually not bad. But I will need to swing this around. I see. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So what I'm going to do is um, add a mask with color selection. Let's try that. Pick a color and green. Yes, okay. Now there's got to be a way for me to turn this, right? Rotation. Okay, 90 degrees. Oh yeah, okay. Scale. 10. Mm, okay. Is that too small? Maybe a bit too small. It's um, 6, no. How about 8? No, oop, I missed it. Let's try eight. Oh, and look over here. Hmm. Oh, and I know why that is. I know why that is. Okay, I need to... Well, you know what? You aren't going to see this side anyway, but <laughs> I should fix that. Because the reason why that is is because if we look at our UV map here. Um, this is facing this way along the X and these are facing up. So I would need to change the um, alignment. Let me, here we go. We need to change the alignment of this one. So R90, there we go. 
And how are we going to fit that in? Now, can we have, do we have a r rotate when we do control P? Rotate. Oh, that did it. Look at that. Yeah, that did it right there. So I'm going to have to, uh, don't do that. I'm going to have to um, grab, well, I'm going to, let me move these down here. And then what I can do is take this whole thing and scale it up just a bit more because we can fit that in a little bit better than Blender did, I think. Let's do that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so now it's all right side up. The windows here are right side up. I mean, they're upside down, but they're still going up and down. Uh, a question I have is this thing. Let's see which way that is going. Do I need to rotate those now? So if I select the top of this one and switch over to this view here. Oh, see, that's at the bottom. But it's still, well, but I could spin it over, couldn't I? What about this one? That's at the top. That's fine. So if I took this, uh, let me select this one face and R180, then... If I select this edge, that's at the top. That's what we want. These are, hmm, not real wild about the way these are because I'd want them to be spun around as well, right? R180, R180. And let's spin this one around as well. All right, so now they are all, this is upright, these are upright, these are upside down because you see the edges up here, right? So I'm gonna have to spin these around as well. Like that. And that. Let's take a look and see if there's any overlap. Yeah, there is. So we can fix that. Okay. Just that. And I'll move this up just a hair over there. Any overlap in here? No, looking pretty good. Okay. I think this is going to work, he says, <laughs> hopefully. All right. Okay, so now let's try and re-export this out because we're going to have to start over. We, we, right? We can't just uh, keep, keep going. So, selected object, exports. I'll go ahead and and write over that to for building A. And now this I want a brand new. I don't want to save. I'm going to bring this in again. Okay. And then I will bake textures, turn off the normal. Bring it up to 2048 again. Uh, bake my texture. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. Um, someone says that when I was trying to move the building or around the uh, pivot point was probably off although I thought I put it in the center of the in the in 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 the center but anyway all right so let's give this a try now 
I'm going to grab this and bring it up here. All right, so now it's all looking like it's in the right place. That's good, okay. Um, right click, add mask with color selection, pick a color, I'll use that green. And uh, I'll take the scale, what did I have it at? Eight? Yeah, okay. That's okay. Uh, let's try this roof thing up here. Um, I have some pebbles. Pebbles coarse. I also have some asphalt here somewhere. Concrete. Oh. Cliff. No, we don't want that. I think I'll try the pebbles with sand. No, I think I want pebbles coarse. Let's try this. Bring that in here. Uh, right click, color selection, blue. Uh, let's take it down a bit. In other words, let's maybe take the scale up to eight. Something like that. Okay. Um, this brick, what if I put a completely other kind of brick in there? Will it be just awful? Or if I do, well, let's try. So if I took this brick, and just put it on those windows. <laughs> Let's try it. I'm not sure it's going to work. And I could go out and find an, another brick as well. So it's as if, you know, they put the brick in years later and this is the only brick they had. Yeah, I'm not really buying it. Not really buying it. Uh... Let's try again. Let's bring this back in. And maybe I'll just, instead of having it eight, maybe a scale of seven, maybe. I could also throw more dirt on the outside of the building. We could do that. Um, so what I should do is create groups for these instead of doing it individually. Do you know what I mean? Um, let me move this up. This folder up here. Call this brick main. Take this and move it into there. Take this and remove. Whoops. No, let's not do that. Let me just select that and hit delete. No. Ah. Oh, I can take this away. Here we go. Clear mask. Okay. And pick that. Oh, no, I need to do it up here. I need to do it here. Dang it. Um, remove mask. There we go. Add with color selection. There we go. So it's doing it through that group. At least I think that's going to be a little bit better. Then I'll be able to add other things in there. So if I wanted to say add some sort of dirt or rust or iron rust, let's try that. So if I came in here and added something right under here, oh, add it right in there. There we go. Um, and then added. Uh, black mask. Added a generator. Let's try that. Um, 
and with a a a, a, a dirt generator invert it I don't know where to go uh, dirt level there it is wow that's a little too much huh something like that though we could yeah that's not bad and then this in here is just a little cleaner because it's right let's see how that goes um, I'm gonna create another group here I'm gonna need to create groups here as well uh, I'll create another group get that out of there and for this one this is going to be concrete concrete trim um, where's my concrete here concrete clean I guess I can dirty it up a bit chipped cracked let's try that see what happens there uh, let's see oh it's still thinking here looks like I'm over overtaxing my computer so come on okay so there it is yeah that looks pretty cool with all the cracked and stuff so let's um, with this add a mask with color select that red that's good and let's take it down or take the uh, scale up let's take it up to eight as well and see what happens Oop, oh, too much how about four no how about one <laughs> you know it's cool but it's too big let me try four and it's not too bad yeah okay and then we can put some dirt up here on the gravel so let me uh, this pebbles course here let's put that so let's call this uh, roof texture and put that into there and then let me get rid of this Oh, let me take away the generator take away the mask and put the mask on the group instead like that now I can put a dirt of some sort in with that group I don't know it may be okay um, and then so in here with the pebbles this let's take this down like that uh, the pebbles dirt what would be good for pebbles dirt let's try this rust course let's try that I'll add a black mask add a, um, a generator use the MG dirt uh, invert it let's bring it up a bit a little too much something like that all right well not too bad for a first try in uh, substance painter at trying to do a building here I still don't like that chipped concrete I'm gonna I'm gonna try that um, I'm gonna take this and 
and replace it with that concrete clean and then put that in here get rid of this try that and then I can put some dirt in it maybe you know or I could just reduce the color of it let me try that just take this down oh well there you go let's try that all right well uh, I still feel like it needs more dirt that those things are still a little too bright we may have to look for a new material for all of this let me save this as building a all right well uh we're getting there actually i mean this is this is this is interesting um this has been a good kind of a kind of a test here um Yes, I, 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 this is where I got a couple of, I got, uh, uh, someone says you can get more bricks on substance, sh substance sh uh, share. And um, there's a new thing called uh, substance s uh, source, I believe. And um, I pulled these off of, off of there just as a test, just to see how it would go. And uh, it, it works pretty well. So I will go out and find more of those too. So um, not too bad. I think what we should do in maybe tomorrow is go ahead and bring this building into Unity and then bring the, you know, all the textures in, export the uh, textures and see if they'll work. Um, well, I've got like five more minutes can i do it in five more minutes sure why not let's let's see so i have this still in here we can get rid of our trash can here for now um i can so let's see if we can bring that building in why not could be fun uh so let me find my building here Let's see. Um, here we go. Uh, exports. Building A. Here it is. Okay, so let's just drag it in. And there it is. Okay. And then, what let's do, let me move this over here. Let's go find those. Oh, I need to export those uh, textures, right? So let me save, file, export textures. Uh, Unity 5. We're going to get albedo, smoothness, normal. Okay. Oh, I don't want specular. I want standard metallic. That's why. So we get the albedo metallic smoothness and normal. Um, I'll put it in my exports here. I'll give it a new folder, call it building A, and put them in here. All right. Uh, they're at 2048. That's fine for now. Let's go ahead and export it. See what happens. Okay, let's go see how it looks. Um, it's going to be in here and in exports and there is building A and here are our textures. Okay, there's that. Okay, so come on. Okay, so there's our building. 
here's our material building a albedo let's increase this to a plain white building a metallic smoothness building a normal fix yeah looks very similar I'm still not wild about the concrete here. I don't mind it up here on the top, but I'm not wild about it there. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's a pretty good proof of proof of concept. It looks pretty good, actually. So, yeah, I think I'll keep doing this, <laughs> and hopefully, we'll get better at it as I go. All right. Well, very cool. Well, thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Um, I think we've got a pretty good uh, uh, pipeline here that we can use now going forward, and maybe I'll get better at this, as I said. But um, let's keep working on this tomorrow, all right? So thanks again, and, and take care.